Hello, this will be the beginning of week 11, although I am looking at the tank just a few hours after I made week 10's video. I know the burning question is going to be what happened to the Daddy Longleg Spider versus the Redback Spider. Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly spiders and lots of them. If this sort of imagery triggers you, this video is not for you. In other words, if spiders scare you, this is going to scare you. I did do a time-lapse record of what went on in those fateful hours before Daddy Longlegs was killed. And if I track down here, you'll see on top of the bottle there, there is the carcass of the Daddy Longlegs spider. It is a little bit tricky to see. The spiders have messed up the glass very fast again. It has got a dithering leg there. The leg is just moving. And I'll be curious to see if the Redbacks come and suck it to nothing or leave it as a kill without being eaten. So the way I see it, and you may argue with this, there is another spider myth completely and utterly busted. I can't see any of my black beauties are killed, but I can see that Daddy Longlegs is down and out for the count. I know there's been a few comments, uh, people said, hey Leo, what happened to the spiderlings? There seem to be so many now, there seems to be so few. Well, I think the main culprit is the one right on camera there. The females love to suck up little spiderlings, like candy treats, at the fair. Well, hello, this is week 11 of my deadly redback spider enclosure. There would have been some little preamble before we got to this part. Quite an adventurous week. Uh, very much a learning week for me. I can tell you when I came across the uh, beetle that mimics a wasp. Wow. I've got the tank uh, set up in this again because I'll be taking the lid off. And what I spray in there is this product here, Mortine Kill and Protect. Putting the surface spray in here really helped with any of the escapee spiderlings and redback spiders. Uh, it didn't kill anything inside the tank, as many people said it would. The spiders, I don't think, were affected by it. you really got to be in contact with it to be killed. And let's take off the muslin cloth, and I'll mark up the week. Oh yeah, week 11, hey? Who would ever have thought? And there was also, and more egg sacs were laid. That's the ninth week of these girls laying egg sacs. Okay, time to crack the very scary lid here. I'll take a look down in there. I can see a dead redback. Guess who killed the redbacks? Uh -huh, the redbacks did. And there is a fresh egg sac, and I'll point my finger down there. Nice white one too. And they've dragged the egg sacs back up uh, to the glass there. And there's actually, I can see a whole uh, mezzanine level of web, probably very hard to see because it's all floating in the sky. And now I've got the lid off, the spiderlings are going to start to wake up. It's taken no time at all, I've already got an SKP here. Uh, they tend to drop down on the bit of web and they're hoping for a bit of a breeze to come along and send them to a new home. But I can fix that and send them to somewhere totally different. Dusted. Well, we'll kick off right in the middle of the screen. Uh, hanging in the mezzanine level is a male redback spider. I don't know how many males I have in this tank at the moment. Probably quite a few, but that's one you can actually see that it is a male by those little roundy bits at the front of its body. I'll try and point something out here. There's another new egg sac here. It's on the uh, dozer blade, and it's, I think that's the red back without a red back, which is scampered. It's a very wide egg sac there. There's two new ones. It just worked out. I've got two what I call larger males. There's one there, and if I zoom the camera up this way, you're going to see another one. That's the larger male there. I think that might be my old buddy from weeks back. Okay, hanging there, almost in the middle of the screen, that is a dead female. Uh, you can see the red on the back there. It looks fairly fresh in the sense it hasn't been sucked to nothing. I think it was one of the larger females. Uh, sad that it has been killed, and I bet you it was a redback that killed it. So with spiderlings escaping everywhere, it leaves the tank with, well, three larger females. There's that very strange female that's residing somewhere down there who doesn't have a red back, and I still haven't worked that one out. Uh, there's one over there, okay, and there is another one with the egg sacs right there. I'll tell you what, that egg sac there looks very, very close to opening. They get all crinkly uh, before the spiderlings come out. Well, there is a good shot of that red back with no redness back. If anyone can explain that one, I would love to hear it. I know what you're going to say. You can say, oh, Leo, it's a black widow spider. Isn't it obvious? I should just see if it's got an hourglass underneath there. But I'll tell you what, I'm sure, I'm sure I saw that spider kill the other week. And have had all the mannerisms uh, that redbacks have when they kill. I don't know, it's just a mystery that one. I might be crossbred with something else in the tank. Look at them all escaping and getting web up to the top here. They're miraculous the way they can, you know, formulate escape plans, I'll tell you. 
a bit of a tour down in the tank because I know you like to see the death and destruction that these uh, critters cause. I'll tell you the one thing, I love Christmas beetles. I remember back when I was looking at their area uh, in the backyard, there's always a lot of black beetles dead. Well, down there you can see there's bunches of dead Christmas beetles. Of course, there's some strung up there that probably the spiderlings are getting into. Coming back down to the cat, the bulldozer, you can see spiderlings whizzing in front of you, can't you? Um, there's one of their larger females there, a woody or something over the back there. Okay, I should count the spider egg sacs as well. Coming along to the area where the daddy long legs was, which I can't see anything left. Also trying to find that um, that beetle wasp thing, and I can't see it as well. There's Thomas the Tank, of course, and coming across the Millennium Falcon, so you can really see what has been going on. I can only assume that there is a maturing red back, or it might be something else. There's lots of mystery spiders in this tank now. Uh, I might be stood corrected there, but I'll just let let the audience tell me what that spider is there, or what they think it is. There's just too many spiderlings um, getting out of here. Let me pull their web down. The spiderlings have the ability to create a web uh, that can be up in the Vaseline area. It's not sticking to the Vaseline area, but they can, once they're up high, they can then easily motivate themselves past the Vaseline. Tricky little things, I can tell you, very, very tricky. I'm fighting a losing battle keeping these spidlings at bay. I tell you, they are very, very energetic today. Go down, go down. I'm going to try and do a count of egg sacs here. There's actually six in this cluster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's one of the bounds of the beetle there, so that's twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and the new one there, sixteen. So, uh, 16 egg sacs over 9 weeks, it's sort of like almost 2 egg sacs per week that's been generated inside this tank here by the female redbacks. And I have going to put the carrot in now, okay, because you like to see the carrot going in. I've actually got 3 pieces of carrot, I've got to be very careful here because I've got, actually got spiderlings on my tweezers and they are starting to escape on the table. So I have to go and do some, um, some killing off to the side that you won't be seeing. I don't know, for some week this reason they seem very organised and knowing how to escape. Maybe that's the maturity of them coming in to play. I know one thing, even the spiderlings, they are grand killers. I saw that during the week. I'm actually a bit curious what's underneath the uh, Millennium Falcon. I just see spiderlings making webs everywhere. Oh, okay, I saw something scamper there. It was a spider. Not as creepy as I thought. Now what I'm noticing here is, I hope you can see that right in front of the poop thing there. Look at the spiderlings, they made a web somehow up to the light. And they are escaping up there. Uh, that's the problem with these guys, they are highly capable of escape. Good night sister. And they're gone. Well Thomas, I'll tell you what, the bugs in there over the weeks have uh, eaten away at his paintwork. He has been a survivor and I am a bit curious about who's residing under... Thomas, we thought Gonzo might reappear, but sadly Gonzo did die. Yeah, uh, the bug that I really wanted to show you by looking down in this tank here is the, the beetle that imitates a wasp, and it had me very, very confused. I tell you what, we learned lessons about uh, if you're a good imitator, how it can save your life, or well, up to a certain point. Uh, but sadly, I cannot find the carcass of that quite amazing beetle. I got a special treat for my redbacks this week. That's a whole ton of woodies in there. They're gonna love getting into those. And with umpteen spiderlings escaping from me, I'll try and get the woodies in there without losing any. Here you go, guys. Have a ton of fun. Watch out, watch out. Uh, they're getting angry, they're getting angry. Man, we're probably gonna see some thrill kills. One way I've noticed that critters can survive in this tank for a prolonged period of times is to basically get away from the redback spiders and the best way to get away from them is to dig deep or hide onto Thomas the Tank. Mind you, that hasn't saved everyone. One's having a go there. But any critter that can basically hide away somewhere or get under the Caterpillar truck has a fairly good chance of survival in this tank. Well, there's one that's escaped, uh, somehow got out. It's gone. In fact, there's another one that's escaped and trying to get well away. It's gone as well. The woodies are trying to escape, but they're having trouble getting past the Vaseline line. 
Well, from what I can see, uh, I've got a chronic problem with spidlings escaping the tank. Uh, they are just running amok everywhere. The worst that I have seen. Look at that all along the top there, giving you itchy feelings, isn't it, hey? Looking at that. All across here, more spidlings getting out. I'm going to have to put the lid on if I go over here. Look at the mass of them there. Straight past the Vaseline, straight out. Now, this is real trouble. There's a larger one which has escaped there. Oh, no. I don't want it to die down in the uh, bottom. I need to get back in the tank. Oh, it's attacking me. Look at that evil thing, hey? Get back in there. This is officially out of control. I've got to get this back on. It's fun to look inside like that. Oh, actually, there's a couple of what well, before we go there. What is going on there? Can anyone explain that to me? Or is that too rude for YouTube? Ugh, gotta put this on. To get the renegades, I'll spray some killer protect on that. And I'll go and run it around the um, the tank here. Uh, I've lost a lot of spidlings from um, the way they've just escape that this week has I think seen them them being the most clever that I've seen in fact there's one there good night sister as soon as that stuff touches it it's gone look the spidlings are fun but they are just too difficult to manage I, I like looking at this tank uh, without looking through glass but sadly because of the manicness of the spidlings I've got to look through glass and it's only probably a matter of time before one of the redbacks in there decides to have a bit of a feed and from what I can see going on there, it might be sooner rather than later. In the weeks since the spidlings have hatched from their egg sacs, I think uh, one of the main things that have killed spidlings in this tank is basically other spiders. I think their main source of food has been their siblings. And I've certainly seen the adult redback spiders feeding on spidlings as if they are candy at the candy store. One of the favourite haunts for ground dwelling insects in this tank has been underneath the caterpillar truck that seems to be the place to hide out and not be savaged by a redback. Right next to Thomas is number one there, you can see the legs of a black spider. Now it's another one of the, what I'm calling redbacks without the red in its back, there's actually two in there. Uh, it could be a, a form of these spiders maturing, or it could be a new species, who knows. Now the spider home, you're probably thinking, oh, there's only a couple of larger female redbacks in there, but what I think is in there, and quite a number of them, is what I'm calling adolescent uh, redback spiders. I think that's what's going on with those strange ones which don't have red in their back. I hope I'm right there. I know if I'm wrong, you'd be screaming at me. Uh, but what I'd like to do, it's only going to confound and confuse you, is show you uh, some trump cards that talk about a black widow spider versus a redback spider. And don't worry if I see any pointless killing go on, I'm sure to go back to the action. I was in a bookstore and I noticed this Top Trump's deck of cards, which is the deadliest spiders. Notice they use a red back spider on the cover here. Hmm. Is that telling you something about how attractive they are? Uh, but in this deck of cards, we will see a comparison between the Black Widow spider and the red back spider. Okay, we'll take a look at the Black Widow Trump card first. There's a picture here, which I'm starting to question. I can see the red hourglass that the Black Widows have and the Redbacks have as well, but I can see a bit of red past the web-making area there, or it's a little bum, okay? Uh, why is that red there? I don't think that should be there. Anyway, let's read the card and see what it says. The Black Widow's name is inspired by the female's tendency to eat the male after mating. Nasty girl. They prefer to play dead than attack humans, but their bite can cause pain, vomiting, and spasms. Sounds very ugly, doesn't it? The red hourglass on the abdomen distinguishes them from their Australian subspecies, the red back spider. And let's read that again. The red hourglass on their abdomen distinguishes them from their Australian subspecies, the red back spider. I don't quite understand that because both spiders have the red hourglass. So if this card spoke about the Black Widows not having the red stripe, uh, maybe I'd be, be a little bit happier. Let's read about the Redback Spider. There is a picture of a Redback Spider. Uh, noticing the red stripe on its back, but it also has the red hourglass like the Black Widow, uh, which you've seen with my spiders over and over. Okay, the read says the Redback Spider is decorated with a simple vertical stripe. Uh, that's actually, well, half correct. It's also got the hourglass. Unlike the solitary Black Widow, Redbacks are more temperamental and prefer urban environments that attract other insects. Yes, that's my backyard. The first symptom of a bite is tremendous itching. 
Hmm, wonder if that's true. But for some reason I'm feeling very itchy right now. And when looking at the numbers on the cards in relation to both spiders, the Black Widow has leg span 4 centimeters and the leg span of 1 for the Redback. I thought the spiders were the same size. Maybe I'm totally wrong there. Toxicity is sort of the same. Fright factor is, is equal. But the card is saying cunning, it's 45 for the Black Widow, 42 for the Redback. I don't know how they work that out. And then the top trump number, the Black Widow is 62 and the red back is 63. But the problem I've got with these cards is the reads here uh, just cause confusion and delay because I think what I've noticed with the comments on my red back videos, uh, people are adamant that this spider here is a Black Widow spider. Uh, whereas I think, well, what are the similarities? What are the differences? Uh, I think this is the big, big question. Uh, both of them have the hourglass. Okay, both of them are very good killers from what I understand. Um, but I think this spider here, the Redback, has got the ability to uh, take over the world, whereas the Black Widow is struggling to do so. That's a good deck of cards. A brown recluse spider is there. I don't think that's one of them. I know all sorts of other spiders that you may know or may not know. Certainly some surprises in there for me. Uh, there was one spider here that wasn't a surprise, the Giant Huntsman. Anyway, that'll potentially land me a DMCA looking at those pictures on the cards there. It's like that these days on YouTube. And if you are wondering how much that deck of cards cost me, it was $10. Well, back to the spider tank. And I can tell you what, uh, over the side while I was looking at those cards, uh, well, the woodies have just been going crazy. Uh, but the redback spiders, uh, well, they're just basically waiting out for the right time to strike. In the bundle of woodies that I did dump in, there was actually quite a few dead ones. There hasn't been spider kills yet, it's just the fact that uh, I think there were some dead ones in the box. There's another example of a spider that I'm not quite sure exactly what that is. It's right in the middle of the screen, I hope you can see that. I don't know whether it's a, a red back, uh, like in its adolescence, or it's another type of spider in a tank. Just up the back here, excuse me for the dirty glass, blame the spiderlings. There is uh, two spiders there that don't have red in their back, uh, but they look just like red backs. Yeah, I'm looking for the hourglass thing as well. Hmm, very curious, isn't it, hey? Man, there's no red in that back of that one either. There's the underneath of one of those spiders. There's actually three of them. There's no hourglass on that. Oh, it's just down in the mud now. Now... I'm really confused. It's one of those things, you know. I'm not an entomologist, spider expert, uh, but I, I get confused very easily. Well, the woodies are going to have to find a place to hide, aren't they? And being up on top of the cat isn't going to be the right plus. I can see a spiderling attacking there, actually. The big females uh, are playing a waiting game, and I'm sure that when they want to, they'll come in for a bit of a thrill, kill, and feed. And... I'm pretty sure that a lot of these woodies will survive because they will dig down, but I'm also sure that the spiderlings are going to do a lot of damage because, well, they're hungry little guys as well. I think the uh, the thing that I'm starting to realise, well, in nature, it's always survival of the fittest, isn't it? And if you're the meanest in this tank, you're going to survive. If you're prepared to eat as many of your cousins and uncles and aunties, well, you're going to live on forever. Oh, what was that? A bit of a kissy poo going on there between those two. Oh, another little mystery of those spiders. And they're the two which don't have any red in their back. They're going to have a fight now. Very strange. Very strange indeed. I know, I know. You're saying, well, Leo, where were the spiders killing something in this video? Well, let's just tack on a bit extra. And this is a couple of hours after I did my week 11 review. And see who's killing who. Okay, right in the middle of the screen, the spiderling being devoured by a more mature redback spider there. That's where the spiderlings are going, it's the other redbacks eating them all up. And I can only guess that female there is going to have a bit of a suck on a spiderling for a dessert. And there's something a little bit sad and strange, there's a dead redback there, well I think it's dead, next to a woody that's, uh, well, not doing much at all. I think the killing in this tank is happening in a very different way now, I saw that with that beetle wasp thing, uh, the small spiders have a different dynamic when they kill, uh, we don't get the spectacular 
uh, throwing a web and, and catching like we saw the larger female redbacks. But nevertheless, I think there's a lot of killing and dying going on in the tank uh, with so many small spiders eager to have a meal. There's a special treat. Fluffy's got so inquisitive about the spider tank, <laughs> she's decided to jump up on the table and take a look in there. What do you think, Fluff? Are your friends in there or your foes? Ooh, could be the foes, hey? She's sort of curious about anything that's sort of small and moving. And, uh, generally tends to kill them, from what I've noticed. See ya, Fluff. Yes, uh, I've seen it over and over. Uh, these redbacks are professional trained killers right from day one. There you go. There's a juvenile redback uh, just strung up a spidling. Just like they do when they're adults. What a family, hey? When your auntie, your uncle, your brother and your sister are your next meal. All nicely bound up and ready to suck at the zero. So maybe that explains where all the spiders have been disappearing to. It's just never ending cycle of one spider eating another. And that there, right in the middle of the screen, is, well, one of those spiders getting bigger. It's just shedding its skin. Yeah, a lot of that goes on in here, I can tell you that. Well, I hope you liked the bit I tacked on the end there. If you're curious about when this was shot, uh, not the uploaded date, but the, when I shoot this, it was way back at the beginning, the first few days of 2017. Uh, my spider infestation, if you want to just loosely put a date on it, uh, kicked off in the backyard. It was oh, just before Halloween. So I've been dealing with these deadly spiders and finding more and more and more for far too many weeks now. Those mysterious spiders which are black which have the shiny back, which aren't red backs, this goes right back to the beginning of the spider tank when I set it up. I put an egg sac in there. The egg sac hatched, so it's taken, what, 11 weeks for those spiders to mature to what you see in there. And if you go back, let's say, four or five weeks, they were little reddish type spiders of a peculiar shape, and they grew into a black spider, which looks like a red back spider, but it's another type of widow spider. I can only assume the other strange spider in there is the male variant of that spider. The one with the shiny black back is the female, I assume. There's actually two egg sacs in there which are woven differently to a red back spider egg sac. So again, I'm assuming that is from that black shiny backed widow style spider. And as I've said in the previous week, it's amazing that this spider has been able to survive in there amongst the red back spiders. So there's some sort of understanding between these two spiders for them to live very closely together in the same habitat. As I showed with the trump cards in this video, getting good information about spiders can be tricky. It's very, very complex to get your head around one spider versus another. And I went on to Google and I Googled Black Widow and under image search, well, apart from just seeing black spiders that look like Black Widow spiders, you also see supposedly variants of them which have a red back on them as well. So it is totally confusing. And one of the most common things I've seen in my red back spider videos is people saying, that's not a red back spider, it's a black widow. Both spiders have the red hourglass underneath them, and I reckon if I had a red back spider and I texted out very carefully the red on its back, I could make it look exactly like a black widow spider. And vice versa, if I had a black widow spider, which I don't think exists in Australia, and got a some red paint and put a red mark on its back, you'd say, oh, that's a red back spider. Well, my ramblings at the end of these videos and what I have to say is basically near pointless because, well, most people struggle to get past the first few seconds of a video. And that was proven to me very strongly when I showed that beetle that mimics a wasp. So many people wanted to land comments saying I was wrong, 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 even though I explained what was going on at the end of the video. And maybe in that is a lesson about YouTube psychology for you. I play the game all the time. There's certainly no rewards on this site for being an expert on anything.